Hello and welcome back. Andy Bryan here again from The Soul Pathway. And within this video, I'm going to be providing you with another shamanic guidance reading for September 2021. We're going to be looking at the energies and what is in store for the month ahead. As always though, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll be sure to answer any comments that you may have. But without further ado, I think it'd be great to just dive into this reading and look at what we, you know, can expect for the month of September. So I'm just going to pop straight over to the cards and see what comes up. Okay. As always, I've got both the decks here. In the first deck, we've got all the stages of your spiritual journey and soul pathway. So we'll look at collectively what is coming up for each and every one of us with regards to the energies and what I will say is if you're tuning into this now or if you're tuning into this later this reading will be just right for you so just allow yourself a moment just to connect with this reading take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and just allow yourself to slowly connect and tune in okay well, I shuffle the cards a bit and then we'll choose a card from the stages of our spiritual journey. And then we'll look at the other cards and what's coming up, you know, to support us within this stage and phase of our soul path. Okay. I think we'll choose that one today. So I'll set that one to a side and we'll pull out the rest of the cards in just a moment so let's look at what this card is perfect soul awakening soul awakening is one of the cards that comes up quite frequently as as we know we're we're going through quite an awakening right now and in many ways it, it's it's not changing we're very much in this energy those of us who have been awakened for quite some time uh, both spiritually or physically with regards to the third dimensional realms and the collapsing of civilization so to speak because we're going through quite a shift as I'm sure many of you watching this video already know and what we're experiencing is a breakdown of our current structures around the world whether that be the financial systems educational systems healthcare systems each and every system is being tested because we are experiencing somewhat of awakening within each and every one of them whether it be the financial system and the financial system collapsing to make way for a new way of living and being where we can give and receive we can share and it doesn't need to be on this monetary basis whether it's our educational system and we can look at educating ourselves in different ways whether it be for our children to learn more of these spiritual you know aspects of life or maybe it would be a completely different dynamic with regard to the educational educational systems that we're experiencing right now and obviously the healthcare system is a massive one and I'm a lover of natural and holistic health and I personally believe there are natural alternatives to almost everything out there but these are just my thoughts you can have obviously your own thoughts around this but when we look at the this the system of you know our healthcare system each and every one of those are being broken down as well so our traditional ways of looking at health will be pushed to one side to make way for natural and holistic health that will have no side effects in many ways but can really help you live a happy content and peaceful life and more importantly a healthy and vibrant life which is very very important but the soul awakening is very very important for each and every one of us and what I would say for, for you and even myself is to ask yourself what is being you know called to you at this time what are you being awoken to because we have many different aspects within ourselves and it's not just about the, the awakening of the world around us and the collapse of civilization but it's also the world within us so each and every one of us is calling to connect with our wombs and our shadow those 
unloved aspects of ourselves that we need to love once more. So your soul awakening is, is in many ways calling you to also look at yourself as you grow and evolve. But collectively, it can be looking, looking at the outside world and the external world and asking yourself maybe what you're being called to do. Maybe sharing the truth, maybe becoming a healer or a therapist, or maybe sharing your gifts in another way, which each and every one of us plays a role. We all need to step up into our roles to assist in the shifting of consciousness of the world around us. So that's a very beautiful card, but as always, what I like to do is read from the book, because that's a great place to start as well. So I will read just from the book here and we'll see what it says. So the soul awakening. The soul awakening can often come up as a shake up in your life, in which formerly buried aspects of ourselves suddenly become so evident that they can no longer be ignored. We may find ourselves in moments of crisis in which our souls are yearning for deeper meaning and connection. What once was familiar now may seem foreign to us. The unconscious becomes conscious as attributes of our soul are revealed. If you've pulled this card, it's time for you to be honest and transparent with yourself as your shadow is being uncovered. Although this may be uncomfortable, this will allow you to heal and awaken to who you truly are. So very poignant card there you know it's all about awakening but embracing your true self and from my perspective with regards to the soul awakening and looking at ourselves it's it's looking about how we choose to live our lives now whether it's very much connected with the systems and structures of society or whether it's looking at our own way of living and being where whereby we're connecting uh, to communities and people at which we love and connect with you know, for example, our soul tribe and our soul family who are always there to love and support us. You know, as we connect with these people in our lives, we can grow and evolve and step into who we're meant to be. But if we look at that with regards to our civilization and what's happening in the world, the breaking down of civilizations in many ways is calling us to look at new ways of living, which isn't connected to the systems and structures of society you know that we live in right now maybe it's going back and looking at some of the old ways that we used to live with regards to ancient civilizations because they had some incredible ways of living back then that we can reintroduce back to our present moment in time in order to rebirth this new world so that we can become at one with one another and love ourselves but ask yourself what is being called and awakened within you whether it's literally within you or whether it's you know looking at you know how you can you know, you know live in the way that you physically want within the world right now if you step away from you know systems and structures of society and the culture in which we live okay so let's now pull three cards from the rest of the pack and see what comes up you know what I'm going to do is give it a bit of a shuffle, like I always do, and tune in. I'm just going to lay them out, lay out the cards. What will be interesting to know is what what you know soul awakening experiences have you had? Maybe over the last last month, last couple of months. I know I've certainly had some awakening experiences that have come up come at a shock to me but they really assisted me in, in connecting with myself on a on a much much deeper level but but now I'm being called to different things in terms of how can I serve on a grander scale you know so maybe share some of that in the comments if you feel called to do so and we'll pull one of these cards as well we'll pull three of these cards I feel that one one One, two, and a final one. Feel another one around here, actually. 
So three. There we have our three cards for the reading. And if I feel called to pull another card, we'll pull another card as well. But usually three is very sufficient. And before I move on, what I will say is if you are interested in getting a personal reading for yourself, to look at where you are on your spiritual journey right now and what it is you're working through, I provide, you know, soul pathway readings and you know the personal soul soul pathway readings will go into a lot of depth with regards to what you're going through right now. And you can find out more about those readings obviously below this video as well on YouTube. And then you can go, you know, directly to my website and book, you know, a reading for yourself there. And from now until the end of August, I'm actually offering them at, you know, uh, $55, I do think it is. Um, but I'd love to guide and support you on your spiritual journey, so please feel free to get in touch. And I'll obviously provide them throughout September as well. Let's look at the cards and what is popping up here that now. Swan, wow, fantastic card. Absolutely beautiful card. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go straight to the to the pack here because you know swan is is one of my favorite cards but the swan is is very much about love and grace and you know just connecting with our emotions and connecting with the water as well as they as they very much connected with that so let me read out from from the cards the spirit animal of the swan resembles love trust and grace, as I mentioned. Swans teach you to honour the sacred gift of life as you apply grace to your journey. Symbolically, they are the representation of love and it is said that when you see a swan, that love is nearby. If you've chosen this card, notice how love is blossoming in your life. Now is the time to trust in your divine plan and surrender to the great plan of spirit. Pay attention to your feminine intuition and allow this to guide you. Instead of trying to force an outcome by placing expectations, go with the flow and let everything unfold naturally. Believe in your heart and what is meant to be will find a way. Very interesting and yeah, if we if we very much relate that to the soul awakening, when our soul is awakened, we're often detached from ourselves and very much connected with what is going on in our external world, which causes us to disconnect from the love within. You know, so with regards to the swan here, the swan is calling you to, to act with love and grace within your life and really connect with your soul in the way that you can begin to learn to love yourself. And as it as it mentioned in the book, surrender to the great, surrender to the plan of great spirit, because spirit is always guiding us and supporting us in each and every moment. We just need to learn how to trust, and when we can trust, we can go with the flow. And in many ways, for me, that is what that is what uh, the Swan is is teaching us about about life and our journey. There is so many meandering aspects of our journey sometimes we everything can go swimmingly so to speak and other times it can be incredibly challenging and we can be in deep emotional turmoil but we just have to trust in the plan trust in ourselves and love ourselves more importantly as well though you know act with grace and surrender to all that is in this moment knowing that this too shall pass and everything that is meant to be will be in your life as you surrender to this great plan as you go with the flow i often find that when we're not acting with grace and we're not going with the flow of life we can often have our ego step in and when our ego steps in in many ways we're we're stepping off the divine plan you know what is meant for us may not be because our ego gets in the way, our conditioning gets in the way, and we may believe for ourselves that it's not meant to be, you know. So we need to just trust, have faith, go with the flow, follow your heart, follow that love that is within you, okay? 
And another thing as well, you know, if you're connecting with this, it may, it may be that you're connecting with a, you know, a soulmate in your life, and and love is is coming into blossom for you, you know, during September. So that might be a beautiful thing as well. But for me, it's it's about surrendering to the plan of great spirit and just going with the flow of life. You know, that's what it's always about, really. So let's look at the next card. Beautiful, beautiful, and you know the divine feminine. The divine feminine is all about connecting with your intuition, connecting with what it is that you love, embracing that self-love within. And again, I'm going to read from the book before I give my own insights here. But the divine feminine is is one of my favourite cards because it is really all about that. You know, self-love and if you look closely if I zoom in on this card it's a beautiful card this one but I can't get it in focus actually but it's um it's a beautiful and elegant lady you know very regal in many ways and you know this is all about allowing yourself to be beautiful and elegant to show up as who you are and embrace all those beautiful and hidden aspects within as you connect with your intuition, you connect with what you love and you can allow the Divine Feminine to support you in this process of loving all the different aspects of who you are. But again I'll read from the book. The role of the Divine Feminine is to open your heart. They provide you with unconditional love, nurture and support as you embrace your inner feelings. This brings into harmony both the masculine energy of strength and the courage and the vulnerability of the feminine. If you've chosen this card it's an invitation to notice this union within you. Follow your heart and connect with what you love. Allow your intuition to guide you as you follow your soul's path. Call in the Divine Feminine to assist you in realigning with what is right and what is true for you at this moment in time. So one thing I wanted to mention about that Divine Feminine is that often when we go about our journey we're very much connected with the masculine energy with regards to you know moving forward in life and really going after what it is that we want. That masculine energy comes into play and we're driven towards our goals and our dreams. So with that masculine energy being very much pres present in our lives and on our journey to begin with the feminine is is many in many ways coming in to to allow us to connect with our inner world once more again that inner world of intuition self-love and honoring what is right and true for you so that you can become aligned with your soul path so aligned with aligned with your mission aligned with your purpose so that divine feminine is an absolutely beautiful card and you can see it you know in focus this time zoomed in a beautiful elegant and regal lady so that's an absolutely fantastic card but um, again what is whatever is coming up for you you just need to follow it follow your own inner guidance follow your in intuition because that will lead you in the right direction and with regards to your, your soul awakening don't get too distracted by what is happening you know in the world around you with regards to your conditioning and your ego Allow that to fall by the wayside as you connect with your soul, connect with your intuition, connect with your own divine feminine energy as this is what will guide you, you know, on your journey to creating the life that you want or more importantly, a life that's truly aligned, you know, with your soul with regards to no matter where it's moving forward, okay? So we'll look at the final card. Let's look at the final card and see what this brings. Beautiful. The element of earth. And the element of earth is fantastic as well. The element of earth is very much connected with our Divine Mother. And you can see each and every one of these cards relates to love. And Mother Earth is our Divine Mo Mother that provides unconditional love, nurture and support as we connect with it. We go out in nature to ground, to reconnect with ourselves, 
and to learn how to love ourselves once more. To disconnect from our mind so that we can reconnect with our heart and our soul. And that's the beautiful thing about Mother Earth. Often with what is, go what is going on in the world right now, we, we tend to find ourselves more homely beings where we don't go out so much, we don't really connect so much with the outside world and I know the world is very much opening up more so but you know whether you're in different parts around the world you might be locked down um, so Mother Earth is calling you to you know reconnect to your soul ground and you know lean on Mother Earth to, to, to provide that spiritual guidance and support and that unconditional love and nurture and again let me read from the pack and see what the book says okay and I'm right here already the element of earth allows you to become rooted and grounded as you bring stability into your life earth is a divine mother who provides you with a firm foundation when you reconnect with yourself if you've pulled this card then now is the time for you to honour the spirit of nature as you embrace Mother Earth. Allow her to ground and support you in the process of healing as she brings you unconditional love and nurture. As with the strength of a tall tree, allow the branches to run high or reach high and the roots to run deep. This will give you the ability to weather any storm. Remember to call upon Mother Earth he is just a heartbeat away. Fantastic. And, you know, what was mentioned in the card was, was obviously the Tree of Life. And the Tree of Life is very important here because, as we've mentioned, the roots run really, really deep and the branches stretch out really far and wide as they connect outwardly to the universe. But as the branches run deep, it's it's calling you to ground and reconnect with yourself allow yourself to become stable in your life so that you're not distracted again by what is going on around you but so that you're living in your own bubble in many ways and in your own world you're creating your own reality and you're manifesting what it is that you want within your life and this is all about connecting in many ways with the divine love that is within you with regards to each and every one of these cards but what I will say is you know coming towards the end of this video you know I've covered so much already but um, allow yourself to slowly awaken to what is coming from within you take your time go at your own pace and trust trust don't don't continually reflect back on your ego and conditioning but allow you allow yourself to to know what is what it is that you're feeling is what is going to be guiding you through these moments in time with regards to that awakening and it's essential for you to act with grace and that love you know connect with that intuition and allow the Divine Feminine to guide and support you with each and every moment in time as you go through these different awakening experience, experiences and you, you live in alignment with what is truly right for you with regards to your mission and purpose. And finally, finally again we've got that Mother Earth. That Mother Earth to ground us, stabilise us and to assist us in weathering any storm. So whatever is coming up for you right now, whatever emotional turmoil you're experiencing, notice that this too shall pass. And this, just, this is just a storm at which you're going through right now. Allow yourself to ground, reconnect, and you know, soon enough, the bright sunshine will shine upon you once more and with that I will say thank you for listening again if you've got any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below and I look forward to connecting with you there and if you would like a personal reading um, 
with regards to connecting to your spiritual journey and soul pathway at a deeper level. You can find out more about that on my website and there is a link below this video. So thank you again for listening. Take care, much love, and I do look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Bye for now. Awaken your soul pathway and shift from self to soul. Download our free app on the Google Play Store where you can disconnect from your mind in order to reconnect with your soul as you awaken to your spiritual journey and connect with your soul from within. Learn from one of our many courses available on Udemy. We have our Archetypes for Life program where you can connect with your inner world in order to transform your outer world. We also have your Awaken Your Inner Warrior course where you can learn how to balance your masculine and feminine within. You can even take the journey of divine love to embrace your soulmate or twin flame. Or you can honor and heal your shadow as you shift it from darkness to light. Gain deeper insights from spirit as you connect with your soul and awaken your soul pathway with our Soul Pathway Oracle Cards. Visit www.thesoulpathway.com for more information.